welcome my friends to another vlog to another video don't forget to subscribe share and leave a like well today we're going to be talking about um, something that happened October the 12th and I was not able to make a video because my the program that I used to edit my videos was not working something was happening and now it's working so I'm making the video and I'm pretty pumped about it Mujeres del Maiz Africa United sharing roots in the Lunara Cultural Association Mujeres del Maiz would translate in English to females of the corn so all of them uh, denounce on Monday October 12th the imperial character of the Spanish kingdom in an act next to the uh, to the plaza del castillo in Pamplona, two figures representing king felipe the sixth and christopher columbus were set up on two pedestals in front of the palace of navarra the original government's seat around their necks robes were placed which several people pulled until they were knocked down and beheaded. Sartu, a political party, wanted to make visible their refusal to celebrate the day of his repressive arm, its army and civil guard. 528 years have passed since the arrival of Christopher Columbus to Latin America the time has come for Spain, Christianity, to apologize. They have a moral obligation to apologize for the crimes committed back then. October 12th is a day that summons the Spanish institutions in all its breadth. However, today, the political class it's angry trying to understand themselves they are trying to understand their own king emeritus hmm? Juan Carlos first a banker put in that position to help facilitate the bankers job hmm? So he's just there as a, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? <coughs> puppet from the bankers. He's a puppet, and the puppeteers are the bankers. Now we know he is, he had escaped, and now we know that he is in the United Arab Emirates, hiding from justice as is fit any subject that escapes the law. His successor, someone named Felipe VI, alias the current king of Spain. Someone everyone questions. Everyone in the Spanish society has questions his attributions. He takes attributions that nobody has given him. In ter it turns out that he does not want to recognize or has or have not addressed the Judicial authorities, rec recognition of Catalonia, Catalonia, mm. acquiring a prerogative when everyone is aware and everyone else actually tells him, hey, nobody has elected you. So why are you taking those attributions? Mm? The only reason he's there is because they could not bring down Francisco Franco back in the days of the Spanish monarchy. Okay, well, they put Juan Carlos I to justify the banker's power, who needed someone to facilitate the process. Because mm -hmm. oh, what do bankers do? Borrow money, borrow money, and... Uh, in-depth, uh, yeah, in-depth the, the, the nation. Hmm? 
Well, in the midst of all this colonialism, we in Latin America have the voices of, of a president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. Hmm? He's asking, he's demanding from the beginning of his mandate, he has set out to clarify things. He has asked the political leaders and Christianity to come to our region and apologize. He, he would want for them to come to Latin America and give an apology here in Latin America, not from the Vatican, not from somewhere in Spain. And I think that would be something that most people would like. Hmm? They have to apologize for their atrocities committed to the people in this land. Well, um, it seems like uh, the in the Vatican we have someone that is closer to Latin America, Pope Francis. He actually has received Beatrice Gutierrez Mueller. Who is she? That's Manuel Lopez Obrador's wife. It's an awesome signal, if you ask me. Although she's not there um, in business for the apology, but this is she's there for other business, very important businesses. She's there to obtain codices in historical bibliography material that the Vatican will be sending to Mexico and if I'm not wrong I believe to Peru and Bolivia it's material that I believe they're given back to these nations it would be great that an Argentine pop expresses expresses himself this way uh, especially during this historical line of demand so uh, it gives hopes I, I think hopefully something will be done before his turn is over. Um, okay, so moving on. The powerful elite of the planet knows that Cologne in his time represented the European political elites. elites. He was the facilitator. His representation is not longer standing as tall as once did, but our citizens do not because of our because our citizens don't want anything to do with foreign procedurals interventions in our region hmm? and some people may say um, that the Spanish who plunder our region are our ancestors but the ones that stay back in Spain are, are different people so we have nothing to do with them it's, sort of weird if, if I think about it. Like, how in the hell does that make sense? The people that came here did not have family back there? Or, I don't know. I don't know how they, they make those connections. But let me tell you, the gold that went back to Spain was used for the luxury of um, the Habsburgs and the Bourbons, uh, political classes, in their time. The gold actually ended up in Britain, in Germany, and I believe in Amsterdam, somewhere in Holland. Uh, because the, um, they, the elites in Spain used to pay with that gold for jobs that they didn't want to do. It, so they were paying the elites in those other countries to do those jobs. Those of us who live in Latin America also need a process of internal genetic reconciliation in each one of us. Several people I speak to are sort of ashamed of uh, saying that they have indigenous genetic in, in them, in their blood, in their body. So that, that's quite messed up. Um, we must recognize that our languages, our names, have backgrounds of Spanish, Iberian, or um, Lisbon, uh, which is the same as Portuguese. We, we have to re, um, reconcile ourselves 
to, to that and actually accept it, understand it. But at the same time, we cannot forget our roots, right? We can't say, oh, no, uh, I'm not indigenous. Come on. You are. You know, accept who you are and be proud of who you are. The Spanish monar monarchy must apologize for all of our, oh, for all the atrocities they did in our territory. This does not mean going back 528 years and staying as victims of a process. We are survivals of that process and as survivals we demand that that conditions that existed back then perish and that it doesn't, that it won't be repeated again. We, we're not going to play the victim, we're, we're grown ups, we're old enough, we are in a space in our lives to say that what you did is over and will not happen again, it will not repeat itself. We are not interested in being the victims, that's for sure. We are in conditions of survivals, survivors. Hmm? Uh, the European elites know why well, um, at least the ultra-right, um, the, why they want to celebrate October the 12th. Back in 1916, I mean, yeah, 1916, 18, um, this date, October the 12th, used, used to be celebrated on a different day. It has been changed around um, many times. Uh, eventually, they convinced Felipe Gonzalez in 1978 that the best day or the best suitable day to celebrate this day in Spain would be October the 12th, which used to be, let's say, April the 12th or whatever, right? It used to be a whole different date. But the only reason they moved it to October the 12th is because Back in 1978, they were preparing them, themselves to celebrate the 500th anniversary of Columbus' arrival to Latin America. So they thought it would be the best time to, to do it. Hmm? Um, it's Spain, Spain wanted to, to come up with something called the Iver American, which included Spain, Portugal, and the rest of Latin America. And they thought with all that business that goes on in that area, they would uh, gain a lot, but that never took place. And that will actually be another reason to celebrate October the 12th. Hmm? Uh, those who believe it to be descendants of the Spanish conquerors think they are related to the Bourbons. And they believe a lot in the Ivor Americas, but that doesn't exist. And, um, you know, this is the last thing I'm going to read. I'm going to talk about it. I insist that we're not victims. We are survivors. Mm -hmm. All governments to stop putting hands in Latin America. Well, when the Spaniards in 1942 arrived in Mesoamerica, they had the luxury of thinking that they brought civilization to America and the Incas. And it is well record that there is six cradles of culture in the planet. One of them is current Iraq, part of the Mesopotamia. We have China, we have India, we have Egypt, part of the Mesoamerica, and Peru. So there is no way that Spanish came with civilization to give us civilization. We are civilization. So, my friends, with that note, I say goodbye and thank you for watching this video. Till next time, and don't forget to help someone because you might be the only one who does.